Hi, boys and girls. Welcome. We're going to have our morning message today, and I will read first, then you'll read with me, so pay real close attention. August 20th, 2020. Dear boys and girls, today you will visit the music and PE classes on Canvas. These are some of the kids' favorites. Love, Miss Praise. I know that my students in the past have always really loved PE and music. Now music, of course, is when you go and learn to sing and learn about music notes and instruments. PE is short for physical education and that means when you learn games and exercises and how to keep your bodies fit. So those are some really fun classes that you're going to be visiting today. You can find those classes on your dashboard in Canvas. They're also linked from our Canvas homepage. So let's go ahead and you repeat after me this time. August 20th, 2020. Your turn. August 20th, 2020. Dear boys and girls. Dear boys and girls. Today you will visit. Today you will visit the music and PE classes on Canvas. That's hard. The music and PE classes on Canvas. These are some of the kids' favorites. These are some of the kids' favorites. Love, Miss Praise. Now let's all count down and we're gonna read it together. We'll do a five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll start reading. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. August 20th, 2020. Dear boys and girls, today you will visit the music and PE classes on Canvas. These are some of the kids' favorites. Love, Miss Phrase. You know, one of the words that kids learn first in our class is the word love and the reason is because Miss Phrase myself I write that to them almost every day so L-O-V-E love and so the kids pick that one up really fast and they like to write love notes to their moms and dads it's a kind of pretty word to know now isn't it we're gonna go ahead now we're gonna find all our spaces between our words remember we put letters together to make words. When they're put together with a spaghetti space between them, they're words. But those meatball spaces that you have between, that means that this word ends and this is a brand new word. This word is ending now. So meatball spaces are where the words begin and end and you have spaghetti spaces between the different letters in a single word. So let's do a word of space. I hope you say it with me. A word of space, 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 a word of space. A word of space, 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 a word of space. So let's go ahead and count those words in our message today. I think I wrote a pretty long one, so it'll be a little, I feel probably more words than we're usually getting. So one, two, three, four, are you counting with me? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So there are twenty-six words in our message today. I'm going to write 26 here, just like yesterday. 
Now, if I took one of these words away, how many words would I have? What's one less or one fewer? Less and fewer mean the same thing. What is less, one less than 26? It should be the number that you say before you say 26 when you're counting. And the answer is, hopefully you got it, 25. 25 is one less than 26. But what if I had one more word? What is more, one more than 26? If you were counting, it would be the number that you say after 26. So 25, 26, 27, that's right. It is one more than 26. Something you can look at is this digit right here. Five, six, seven. Those go in the same order as they do when you're counting from one to 10. Once you get to the 20s and the 30s, it's still 31, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, 41, 42, 43. So the numbers always go in that same order. It's a pattern, something that repeats and does over and over again. So one less than 26 is 25. Five is one less than six. If I had six fingers and I took one away, it would be five. One more than 26 is 27. If I had six fingers and I add another, that's seven. Five, six, seven, 25, 26, 27. So hopefully you start to see that pattern there. Now we're gonna look for those sight words. So there might be a few extras today. Let's look for those words. I'm gonna write those here real quick because I want you to be able to see them when you're looking for them. A, N, D, and, oops. You're gonna have to excuse Miss Phrase. My brain was thinking faster than it should have been. It's not and, it's T, H, E, the. Now if you just learned and, pat yourself on the back. That was a slip. I made a mistake. An O, F, of. The, of. So when you see me get to those words in the message, you tell me to stop. Did you catch that? T-H-E, the. Oh, I hope you caught that. You should be starting to know that word. Ah, did you catch that? O-F, of. And T-H-E, the. I'll butter that popcorn word up. Good deal. Let's count how many popcorn words we have. One, two, three. So we have three popcorn words in our message today. Let's draw a little popcorn kernel around that. And let's read them together. The, the, of. If you can read those words, pat yourself on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and add it to the assignment. So after you watch the video, you can go back and look at the picture to see the numbers and the words a little more clearly. Have a great day.